so the next topic we are going to discuss is the disorder of the tongue so what is tongue tongue it is a muscular organ that is situated in the floor of the mouth what is the function of the tongue it aids in chewing swallowing speech and taste it is the organ of location of the taste let's discuss the classification of the tongue disorder they may be inherited congenital or developmental anomalies that includes minor variation that is partial ankyloglossia variation in the tongue movement tongue thrusting fisher tongue thyroglossal duct lingual thyroid or median rhomboid glossitis it could be major variation like cleft lobed bifurcated tongue aglossia hypoglossia macroglossia or bald and deep epilimated tongue it could be disorder of the lingual mucosa that includes the changes in the tongue papilla that are the that are the geographic tongue or hairy tongue the non keratotic lesions are thrush white sponge nevus vesiculobullus and other disorders keratotic white lesions like lichen planus leucoplakia deep epilimation lesions like chromic trauma nutritional deficiency hematological abnormalities vascular diseases chronic candidiasis tertiary fillies pigmentation like ulcers the disorders that affect body of tongue are amyloidosis infection neuromuscular disorder sleep apnea syndrome tmj myofascial dysfunction vascular diseases of the body of the tongue angioneuritic edema now let us discuss about the first is the ankyloglossia what is ankyloglossia the other name of ankyloglossia is the tongue tie so what you will see is the inferior frenum that will attach to the bottom of the tongue so that will restrict the free movement of the tongue that can be either total or complete where the ventral surface of the tongue is fused to the floor of mouth or partial partial ankyloglossia that refers to the congenital shortness of the lingual frenum that extends nearly to the tip of the tongue so binding the tongue to the floor of mouth so if the tongue is binded to the floor of the mouth what problems would the patient face there will be restricted tongue movement there will be speech disorders like lisping inability to pronounce words such as t a t e t i water cat etc there can be feeding problems tongue biting etc so this is the case with the partial ankyloglossia where you can see the frenum attachment that extends nearly to the tip of the tongue what are the syndromes that are associated with ankyloglossia the first is the ankyloglossum superioris syndrome trisomy of 13 pyre robin syndrome rainbow syndrome all these are all these comes under now what are the variation in the tongue movement you can notice is the unusual extensibility of the tongue that is a characteristic feature of the ehler danlos syndrome so it shows a gorlin sign positive what is gorlin sign it is unusual extensibility of the tongue that is it the tongue can be moved both forward to touch the tip of the nose so the patient can touch the tongue with the tip of nose and backward into the pharynx so that is positive in the ehler danlos syndrome the mobility of the tongue is also restricted in diseases like epidermolysis bullosa as result of fibrous scar that are secondary to the blister formation other is the tongue thrusting what is tongue thrusting it is the forward placement of the tongue between the anterior teeth and against the lower lip during swallowing speaking or at rest the tongue thrusting it is a infantile swallowing pattern and may be associated with the with the macroglossia a patient with tongue thrusting will presents which of the following symptoms he will presents with proclination of anterior teeth there will be anterior open bite there will be bimensile protrusion 
posterior open bite in case of the lateral tongue thrust or posterior cross bite could be seen next comes the fisher tongue so what is the other name of fisher tongue it is scrotal tongue or lingua plicata so in the fisher tongue that is characterized by grooves that vary in depth and are noted along the dorsal and lateral aspect of the tongue what are the condition in which fisher tongue is seen the fisher tongue it is seen most commonly in the malkerson rosenthal syndrome fisher tongue it is most commonly seen in malkerson rosenthal syndrome and down syndrome so what is malkerson rosenthal syndrome it is a rare condition that is characterized by triad of persistent reoccurring lip or facial swelling there will be intermittent facial nerve paralysis or fisher tongue so malkerson in the malkerson rosenthal syndrome what you will see it is a triad of fisher tongue chilitis granulomatosa and facial nerve paralysis so what are the patterns various pattern that can be seen variety of the patterns that could be seen it could be central longitudinal fissuring double fissuring transfer fissuring or later longitudinal so the management of the oral hygiene is must in case of the fisher tongue so there will be on histological examination what you, uh, you will see is there will be increase in the thickness of lamina propria loss of the filiform papilla hyperplasia of the retipex that could be seen there is no definitive therapy or medication is required what is the treatment for the fisher tongue no definitive therapy or the treatment is required next is the median rhomboid glossitis embryologically the tongue it is formed by two lateral processes the lingual tubercles meeting in the midline and fusing above the central structure from the first and second branchial arc that is the tuberculum impar so the median rhomboid glossitis it is a developmental defect that results from incomplete descent of the tuberculum impar and entrapment of the portion between the fusing lateral half of the tongue the other name of median rhomboid glossitis is it is central papillary atrophy of the tongue what are the feature of the median rhomboid glossitis so this median rhomboid glossitis it is present in the posterior midline of the dorsum of the tongue just anterior to the v shape grouping of the circumvallate papilla so it is it is characterized by rhomboid or oval in shape changes that occur in the tongue mucosa in the midline just anterior to the foramen cecum the surface is dusky red and completely devoid of filiform papillae and it will be smooth so what is the cause of median rhomboid glossitis there are several predisposing factors such as smoking denture wearing diabetes mellitus as well as candidial infection which papilla is affected in the median rhomboid glossitis so there will be atrophy of the filiform papilla clinically the median rhomboid glossitis it manifest it manifest as well defined erythematous area located along the midline posterior dorsal tongue just anterior to the circumvallate papillae sometimes a kissing lesion develop on the palate directly opposite from the tongue lesion so the kissing lesion it is seen in the it is seen in the median rhomboid glossitis when the soft palate is the ma may be seen where the lesion of the medial rhomboid glossitis touches the palate so no treatment is required for the median rhomboid glossitis antifungal therapy will reduce the clinical erythema and inflammation due to the candida infection cleft lobed bifurcated and tetrafurcated tongue separation of the dorsal surface of the tongue into two or four by deep grooves is generally seen it is seen in the cases with the orofacial digital syndrome fetal face syndrome meckel syndrome so management is regular cleaning of the tongue now what is aglossia aglossia is the complete absence of the tongue at the birth what is hypoglossia it is a small rudimentary tongue so what are the what are the associated 
syndromes that are associated with hypoglossia they are pare robin syndrome hypoglossia hypodactylia syndrome so patient with hypoglossia will generally represents high arch palate narrow constricted mandible and difficulty in the airway that is also seen in the pare robin syndrome what is the enlargement of tongue it is the term is macroglossia that the macroglossia can be congenital inflammatory neoplastic or metabolic the example of congenital is the hemangioma lymphangioma cretinism down syndrome the inflammatory causes of macroglossia could be syphilitic syphilitic gamma ranula neoplastic reasons could be granular cell tumor neurofibroma lipoma and metabolic diseases could be amyloidosis acromegaly myxedema where you can see is the macroglossia so what are the other syndrome in which macroglossia could be seen one is the back with wide man syndrome the goal is to reduce the tongue size and improve the function the main functions include articulation mastication protection of the airway and gustation the tongue may be enlarged or distorted by presence of variety of the tumor like growths of the developmental origin that could be hematoma neurofibroma hemangioma or by epithelial inclusion cyst that may be dermoid branchial cyst etc what are the condition of the deep papillary tongue the tongue that appears that is erythematous edematous painful tongue that appears smooth because of loss of the filiform papilla and sometimes the fungiform papilla is the deep papillary tongue causes the local causes includes eosinophilic granuloma traumatic injuries allergic stomatitis facial hemiatrophy systemic causes iron deficiency anemia plumer vinson syndrome pernicious anemia niacin deficiency folic acid deficiency scleroderma diabetes syphilis zoster infection atrophic glossitis peripheral vascular diseases these are the condition deficiency of vitamin a b1 b2 pantothenic acid b6 where the deep papillary tongue may be seen so vitamin a deficiency it is associated with poor sense of taste vitamin b1 deficiency it is associated with furrow tongue b2 is associated with the deficiency known as magenta tongue pantothenic acid it is associated with beefy enlarged tongue b6 deficiency is associated with scarlet red tongue B2 B6 P12 niacin deficiency associated with burning sore tongue the folic acid P6 deficiency may cause ulcer on the tongue so these are the important things that you have to remember for your entrance exam point of view the next is the geographic tongue so what is other name of geographic tongue it is benign migratory glossitis fendering rash or edema migraines what is geographic tongue in the patient with the geographic tongue one would see is irregular shape reddish area of deep papillation with the thinning of the dorsal epithelium that is surrounded by narrow zone of regenerating papilla that are wider than the surrounding tongue surface so etiology it could be due to the hypersensitivity history of asthma hay fever eczema other factors could be immunological reactions stress hereditary factors or nutritional deficiency it is commonly featured that is seen in young and middle age the females are most commonly involved it occurs most commonly in the females it is commonly seen on the dorsal surface and the later border the patient may complains of burning sensation initially it is small with dermatitis known in durated atrophic lesion that is that that has a elevated uh, distinct rim so there will be loss of filiform papilla that will the papilla will become pink to red in color smoothy shiny surface the 
fungi form papilla that will persist in this squamative area so diagnosis can be made clinically biopsy biopsy will show the loss of filiform papilla with hyperparakeratosis and acanthosis control lo local anesthetic agents like lidocaine diphenhydramine can be given topical therapy like topical corticosteroids and topical application of salicylic acid may be given other is the hairy tongue other name of hairy tongue is it is lingula villosa lingua nigra black hairy tongue so it occurs as the overgrowth of the filiform papilla on the dorsum of the tongue so that gives a tongue a superficial resemblance as that of hairiness so that is so there is marked accumulation of keratin on the filiform papillae so what is the etiology of hairy tongue it could be due to the fungal and bacterial overgrowth use of certain drugs like sodium perborate sodium peroxide and antibiotic a patient with poor oral hygiene may show black hairy tongue so management is maintenance of oral hygiene elimination of the predisposing factors and use of topical kera- keratolytic applications that could be podophyllum in the acetone or alcohol suspension that could be used other is the thrush also known as acute pseudomembranous candidiasis it appears as white pinhead size flecks that is scattered over the dorsal surface oral thrush it is due to the overgrowth of which organism due to the candida albicans and patient taking antibiotic immunosuppressant drugs or having a disease that will suppress the immunity seen more most commonly in the females than in the males so when you wipe out the white patches they will be easily wiped out with the cotton symptoms like rapid onset of bad taste discomfort on the spicy food burning sensation may be seen the management includes topical application of cotrimazole cream 2 to 3 times daily for 3 to 4 weeks or we can use ketoconazole 200 to 400 mg once a day for 2 weeks or fluconazole that can be used for 2 to 3 weeks another is the white sponge nevus it is a congenital anomaly in which the surface of tongue as well as other part of mucosa are involved by 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 white spongy plaques without significant hyperkeratosis it is seen mainly in the children due to the friction may strip superficial keratotic area leaving a zone of normal looking epithelium or raw area no treatment is required for the white sponge nevus other conditions could be vesiculobullous and other desquamative disorders that are the lichen planus so here you will see a white tiny elevated dots that are known as vicum striae vicum striae are characteristic feature of these are feature of lichen planus or leucoplakia that is a white patch or plaque that cannot be characterized clinically or pathologically as any other disease and is not associated with any type of physical chemical causative agent except the use of tobacco so it is confined to the anterior two third of the border two third of the tongue dorsum and the lateral border so vected area will show white milky patches with fissures and cracks the management includes stop the habit conservative treatments like beta carotenes lycopene vitamin e or retinoic acid can be given surgical treatment is cold knife surgical excision or laser surgery can be done pigmentation in which the tongue may show various type of patterns that either could be due to jaundice or exogenous pigmentation of the filiform papilla that could be due to the result or growth of the microbial growth or due to the food debris dyes mouth rinses etc or use of pigmentation by chemotherapy agents like doxorubicin 
extravasion of the red blood cells around the lingual varicosity may give a patchy blue red discoloration usually on the anterior ventral surface of the tongue 